So this is how to uninstall filter keys. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Migs. Man, it's been a while since I've made a video, but hey, here we are back at it again. I feel like since it's been a while, I should make my first video count. Even though I have kind of made a video on this before, I guess not a lot of you saw that. So I do feel like this one does deserve its own dedicated video. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Oh. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Hold, hold on. Hold on one second. Just got a uh, note from my lawyer. It says, please state I am I am not responsible for anything that might happen to your computer. Really? I have to I have to read this. Yeah. OK, um, this video is based on a prior video that I made on filter keys. This video is to show you how to uninstall that program from that prior video. Again, I am not responsible for anything. Do at your own risk. You know, this uh, this kind of seems a little redundant. My lawyer says, uh, he says that details matter. Details matter. I like that. So can't get mad at him there. All right. No! Oh my God! Let's just jump into it. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up filter keys. Now I have mine right down here where the big old swole arm is pointing to. I don't know where you might have yours, but that's where I keep mine. So the first thing you want to do is click on it, open it, and it's probably not going to look exactly like, like mine as far as the settings, but as long as the same program, that's all that really matters. So from here, we're going to go ahead and click on default, right? And that changes everything that changes this right back to your keyboards, old settings, old boring settings. And then you want to click on save the registry and you want to hit apply. Okay. Once you've done that, I mean, you can go ahead and check it out. It's, it's just keyboard settings. I mean, you, you shouldn't have any issues, but try it out. Make sure it's to your liking. Um, click apply and then click. Okay. All right. If you go to control panel, I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. If you go to the control panel, and you try to uninstall it from there, which is typically what you're supposed to do. It's not going to be here in the control panel, right? And I've already looked in here millions of times. It's not in here and it's probably not going to be in yours. But if it is in yours, you let go ahead and let me know in the comments below. But for me, it's not here. There's no way for me to uninstall this program from the control panel, unfortunately. Now I have my filter keys on my desktop, okay? So this is where I have my filter keys right here on my desktop. And if you don't know exactly where you downloaded yours, I guess the best thing I could tell you to do um, to help you find the file location would be to actually the first thing you need to do is open up filter keys again. And then you need to go to your search bar and type in task manager. Okay. And it should show up right here. Click on that. And I'm on windows 11, but Hey, it should be the same thing, right? So the first thing that should show up is filter keys, right? Click on that and then click on open file location. That's only if you don't know where it's at and you're, you're having trouble finding out where you kept or where you downloaded filter keys. From there, what you wanna do is you wanna right click on filter keys and then click on delete. It says, are you sure you wanna move this file to recycle bin? You're gonna click on yes. Uh, oh, it can't be completed because the file is open. So just make sure you hit OK and you exit out of it. And then uh, once you've done that, click on try again. It's gone. And it's really that simple. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to go right back down here where I had filter keys. I'm going to click on it and look, it's basically saying this shortcut is gone. It's been deleted. You can either restore it, delete it, cancel. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. It's gone and filter keys will no longer be anywhere in your computer except maybe your recycling bin. So if you want to go to your recycling bin and delete it from there, you can, I mean, this, I have it in my recycling bin. So yeah, just delete it from there too. And it'll be gone from everything. All right, guys. So hopefully this video helped you out. I mean, that's really the only way I can figure out how to, to delete filter keys. If it did, please feel free to leave me a like and subscribe if you're new. So you can keep getting great information like this. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out.